This is a horrible argument. <laughs> what is the essence of this argument? If someone were to restate it in a nutshell. If? Lucy, you got it? If there's no word for it, then smelt it. <laughs> no word, no smelting. That's exactly right. Okay, so that's the assumption, right? I mean, that's, we just said it right there. So I would go into these answers looking for something that said that. If you don't have a word for something, you're not going to smelt it. Okay, great. Um, thanks. So answer choice A, what's the first clue that it's wrong? It's a false contrapositive. Yeah. If a culture had a distinct word, we're talking about when they don't. Out. Answer choice B. If a culture was unfamiliar with a metal, why is that a problem? It's unfamiliar. Unfamiliar. We don't know whether they're unfamiliar with it. That's not an issue here, right? Mm -hmm. C. What's wrong with this? It's, 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 okay, it's, it's talking about copper and bronze, right? This is something from the past. We're talking about iron. Thanks for telling us about copper. <laughs> D. If a culture did not smelt a metal, Okay, if they didn't do that, what's wrong with this? What's this actually starting out with? Uh, it's flipped. Yeah. It's starting out with the conclusion. If the conclusion is true, then something? No, we need something that says if the premises are true, then the conclusion is true. You don't even have to read the whole answer choice. You did it. Don't feel bad, but you don't need to. <laughs> e, if a culture... Oh, what do they do for E? It's the contrapositive. If smelt, then you had a word. And we were looking for if no word, no smell. Great. I love this one. Okay. Any other questions on that one?